burning up the streets of Albuquerque, Axel Contemporary's Project E Pluribus Unum seeks a portrait of the city. Hey, where is the heart of the city exactly? It's a really Mile big... Zero. Mile zero. It's a very big heart because it starts somewhere up that way and then it goes all the way down. We're working with 516 Arts and they have a project called Heart of the City about downtown Albuquerque. This is uh, Axel Contemporary. It's a mobile art gallery. It's a place for uh, people to show their creativity. It's an experiment in art distribution. It's something that we began building together, not really knowing if we would do one show or two shows or one show a year or how it would go. But it seemed like something that would be really fun to do. The idea is to promote uh, uh, experimentation in the arts. Maybe more importantly is to bring art to people who may not normally experience art. I find that a lot of times artists are working with galleries, they're tied into doing one kind of art. And so it was a way to be, both for myself and for others, to be able to show a more diverse body of work. Installation projects, performance art, promoting the idea of things outside the van, We did a haiku road sign project. We asked the uh, Poet Laureate of Santa Fe to select 32 of these. That's a really great way of seeing the community and allowing them to express themselves. Some of the artists we show have never shown before. Some have been showing for 40 or 50 years. We were able to expose a lot of people to artwork who don't, who choose not to go to galleries or museums for whatever reason. A lot of people are come to our gallery because the truck looks really cool and they love trucks. And then they come in and they see the art and they find that really interesting. This is called E Pluribus Unum. What we've been doing is taking photos of each person. They bring in an object that they have resonance to or that is of consequence to them. And so it's not just a picture of somebody, it's a picture of somebody and something. I, I, I just love it. I love this book so much. It's really important to me. It's a portrait of Albuquerque and revealing itself to Albuquerque. Um, and that goes with the, uh, this idea of heart of the city. And I was toying with that notion, heart of the city, does that mean like the central part of the city or does that mean the spiritual heart of the city? E pluribus unum means in Latin from many one and for me it is the, the culture, the life that we have together through recognizing the differences and in individuality and specialness of all of us, the beauty and the horror and the, the love and the death and that all those aspects of being human or being animal or being incarnate in some way um, are, have an have a essential beauty to them. Oh goody, come on in. I, I think my perception is that people in general actually are pretty kind and in general they're actually really there for us, for each other. We're, we're all there for each other. And I believe that if I were to go anywhere, I would get this kind of a feeling that people, people are caring, people want to participate, people are engaged. It just needs somehow to be encouraged. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate this.
this is awesome. This is a great project. I'm really I'm glad really that, you're getting, that you're here to participate yeah, too. Thank you. Thank you for letting everyone come. Spending the time here, there seems to be a lot of presence of the people, a lot of openness and enthusiasm. When you look at these photos, you see Albuquerque reflected. You see in the clothing, in the faces. Yeah, work the camera. That's it, girl. Work the camera. Let's see some smiles. And in diverse backgrounds, diverse uh, ethnic backgrounds, diverse cultural backgrounds. And I think that's a reflection of Albuquerque. We also take all of those pictures, which is several hundred, and digitally layer them together using transparent layers. So we create one image, which is one face, which is a portrait of everyone in the project. It's equal portions of several hundred people. And particularly with this project, I find when I meet these people as individuals, I, it, it gives me great hope, great optimism. They all are sharing in the experience and they're all very uh, happy and it just makes me think that a lot of what we hear about society and the horrors of it all, it's, it's overblown. When you take each of these people individually, it, the experience is entirely different. I feel like this is something we started out of a spirit of play and fun and I don't feel like we have some deep important message we're trying to communicate. I think the message is what people take from it. I think people's enthusiasm for what we're doing is the message is part of that. For me the lesson of this as a creative person when you have an idea, no matter how strange or outlandish it is, to really consider it, consider doing it, rather than say, well, that's a silly idea, why would I do that? Well, you know, say, well, maybe that's, creativity is embracing some of those silly ideas and some of those strange ideas. Personally, I have kind of a wider definition of art, that it's, it's rather difficult not to make art. It's more of a choice to do something well. It's uh, a way to find, to express yourself, to know who you are, and then turn around and give it back.